My name's Daniel Robinson. I've got a company called DPR Braking and we've been going for about three years just west of Sydney. I feel we do quite a lot of things differently here. Essentially what we do is we try and um, get the horse a lot more relaxed and build a trust thing with the horses and get them working with us instead of against us. Get them bending, get them uh, relaxed, get them supple through their bodies. It's a lot more relaxed and I think we get a lot more better progress working with the horses instead of against them. The first thing we do is all about building trust and making the horses want to be with us. Because if the horse wants to be with us and we're trying to teach the horse to turn towards us, they're not going to try and fight the pressure and go away because they're naturally they want to be with us. And everything we do is we want to be able to give a cue and the horse to come to us. Breaking in progress with a racehorse is normally four weeks. Uh, depending on the different horses, the ones that have had the sale preps, we may do about three to four days before we give them their first ride. Uh, it doesn't really bother me if a horse bucks when we first saddle them because uh, sometimes a horse has to buck to realise he doesn't have to. Yeah, they're normally quite relaxed on their first ride. We do that in a head collar and lead rope before we go in to put them in a bridle. We kind of make sure that we're walking them through big barriers from the first couple of days too, so just to make sure they're really relaxed in the starting stalls. It just sets them up for success instead of failure. When we take them in the round pen, we focus on a few things. One's uh, moving the horse's feet in a direction that we want, so we actually generally have control over where the horse is going and what they're doing. Uh, again, a lot of bending the horses as, like, getting their relaxing, which is generally going to be our steering when we're riding them, that's why it's so crucial. And we also do a lot of desensitisation, uh, getting the horse used to objects that make noise, uh, move around just gets them to be exposed to other things that might spook them or shy them or pretty much making them brave. Today on the track we're working around uh, next to another older horse, just giving them company to work upsides other horses. When they get to the racetrack they're going to have to be running upsides a lot of other horses so they need to get used to it. Then we also is teaching her to be alone, it's also important to have your horse be able to go alone or they won't be hitting the front too easily. I've only been working with Champion Firebirds now for about two, three months. Uh, it's been really good to work with them. We've got two fillies here for Champion Firebirds at the moment. Uh, Sham Express filly and the other horse we have is an Animal Kingdom. Both horses were at uh, Magic Million sales and Jason saw them at the sales and thought they had a lot of excess energy and they pretty much in his eye thought they'd be able to handle being broken in early so they actually come to be broken in earlier than a lot of horses would. They're quite mature horses and they've handled their work very easy, but they're both very intelligent, they're both forward enough, either one of them could be a nice horse. Each horse is different and you're always learning something off them. The more you work with them, the more you learn to work with them, the easier the job becomes and the more satisfying it becomes. Really what we want to do is we want to make it as easy as possible for the trainers that get them after us to do what they do best and that's train winners.